Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well. This is Alonda. I am um, just having a non-scale victory on two fronts. Sorry, on two fronts. One, I got to wear an outfit today that I haven't worn in years on years on years on years. This is it. It's got the little drop in the back. And these, these are, um, it's weird because they're size 12 slash 14. So they're 12 slash 14. But as you see, they are a little big in the front. Um, I love this shirt, but I hate the fact that I have to pin it. But that brings me to my other non-scale victory, which I'm bittersweet, bittersweet about. Okay, you ready? Do y'all see that? These are, this, this is a bra that I would normally wear and fell out. And it's on this side too. So they're in there. <laughs> they're just kind of far down in there. Yeah. So, is there anything called Ozempic boobies? Because my girls are leaving me. I'm gonna have to get new bras. Um, I actually went through my underwear drawer this past weekend since I had so much energy um, and I truly got rid of my my big girl underwear and um, pulled forward my other girl underwear. So about maybe a month ago or two months ago, um, I took my big girl underwear and I rolled them up and put them in the backpack. But this past weekend I said, nope, we're not going back there. We're not. So let's just get rid of them. So I did. And so I guess this weekend I'll be working on my bras because yeah, this, this, this one's a little big. It's, it's, it's like, where are my girls? They're in there, but yeah. So non-scale victory um, on that front. And uh, yeah. So today's Thursday, but I will update everybody um, on tomorrow's video, which I think I'm probably going to put this in that video. So yeah, <laughs> until then, I'll see y'all in a bit. Good morning. Today is September 6th and this is Alonda and we are living on Zetbound. Today, I will be giving myself a 10 milligram of that bound. Um, it's early. It's like 6.20 in the morning. Normally, I do my zap bound around 4.30, 5 o'clock in the evening. But today is a different day. Today, my son is having his first football game, um, being in sixth grade. Well, he used to play fat flag, so now he's doing tackle. So once I leave work, I'm going straight to the game and then there's some celebratory stuff. So I figured I better get this done now. Otherwise, this video will be late. So see y'all in a moment. All right, so hands are washed. Got my trusty little alcohol pads. And I'm gonna angle my camera. Okay, y'all know I'm short. We are going to go to the left, to the left, to the left. All right. So it's been a week, y'all. It's been a crazy, crazy week. I will get into it. I'm trying to weave my video into my work day. So you might see several different backgrounds. <laughs> So, you know, I'm not squeezing, I'm just holding. Because I have a little sag sag. So, let's bring that sucker up a little bit. All right. Oh, tad bit of dot. Ever so tad. All right. So, as you know, last week, I kind of screwed myself over. I was doing the most. 
and um, 10 milligrams gave me a lot of energy. We'll see if that's gonna be consistent or if that was a one hit wonder. We'll find out. But um, yeah, so first time doing a Zep Bound and this is week 30, but first time doing Zep Bound in the morning and not in the afternoon. So we'll see how it goes. But let's get into this week. All right, hey everyone. So let's recap last week. If you recall, on Friday, I gave myself my first dose of 10 milligrams Zep Bound. Not knowing how my day would go, I had prepped myself to sleep all day. Um, usually when I took 7.5, it would knock me out and I was just knocked out for the day. Um, 10 milligrams seems to not be the case. Um, yeah, so I woke up on Saturday full of energy getting myself going. Um, I ran around a lot. I even worked out twice. And because I worked out twice, um, I thought I'll just have half a can of electrolytes to replenish everything that I just lost. So I drank a can of an electrolyte, not a whole can, a half can, half can of an electrolyte. And the um, electrolyte has a thousand milligrams of sodium. In doing so, it knocked my body out of whack. The can itself does have magnesium and, um, what is it, magnesium and, what is the word, magnesium and, I keep wanting to say potassium, it's not, what is it, potassium. It had potassium, but the sodium really just knocked my body out of whack to the point where I gained 10 pounds of fluid from Sunday morning to Tuesday. So Friday I was 214 pounds. By, shoot, really by Tuesday, I was 223.9 pounds. I'll show the things on here. But I had gained roughly 10 pounds of fluid. Now I'm not gonna say it was 10 pounds of, of food because the suppression um, of 10 milligrams really kicked in. So it was more of doing my normal routine on eating, but also kind of forcing some things to remind myself. Um, like with my breakfast, I would eat um, eggs with cottage cheese and I've started adding either like chicken in it or meat um, or sausage. I've tried to do a bunch of different things to make sure I get my protein in the morning. Well, um, like I said, I'm not gonna say that was food. It was literally liquid. So, um, did some things, got some IV bag, or I got a IV bag, a IV bag with potassium and magnesium and some vitamins and something else. I forget what it's called, but it was to help everything start moving. So, I did that on Tuesday, and by Wednesday, I was peeing. The girl was peeing. Everything was going. Um, and I could see the scale decreasing. So it went down, 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 down. So everything that was supposed to be doing its thing was doing its thing. When I had the IV bag, it was roughly a gallon of water. It was an equivalent to drinking a gallon of water um, because I had done several things with the workout, taking the increase of 10.5, and just having all the hormonal complications that I had from the previous week. I'll jump back to that in a moment. But um, basically my body was out of whack. Um, my kidneys were fine. My, um, everything else is fine. With me being on ZetBound, and I don't know if this is the case for everyone because everyone's doctor, everyone's journey, everyone's situation is different, but I've been with my primary care physician for roughly 13 years, and I've mentioned this before. She knows a lot about me, more than my actual therapist knows about me. <laughs> um, when my significant other had his affair in March, Two days later, I was at my PCP getting a full workup. I need to check for STDs, STIs, ST everything. Um, what else? Is there anything new I need to get tested for? Uh, I hear syphilis is out there. Let's get tested for that. So I am 
very close to my PCP. She's very familiar with me and uh, all my array of issues. Also, I will also say I'm very blessed that with me being on this journey, she requires lab work every three months. So every three months I go in, we discuss uh, my titration. Am I going up? Am I going down? How are my side effects? That's one reason why I document my side effects because by three months, I need to be able to tell her <laughs> what's going on. Um, plus I do use their little telehealth, um, line. So if I have a question, I'll shoot a question and they're pretty good at getting back with me, but she knows it all. And like I said, I'm blessed in the sense that whatever program they use, it gets sent to all my doctors, all of them, like Every doctor that I see, my cardiologist, my oncologist, because my oncologist is my blood doctor. So I say oncology and people automatically assume cancer. No, um, I have alpha uh, thalamocema, so I have extremely low iron. And um, whatever system they all use, they all see it. So it's very helpful for me. Um, I can't see it on my end being the patient, but they can see it on their end. They can see each other's notes. They can see, they can see a lot. Um, to the point where a couple years ago, um, my urologist um, was no longer in my network. And my primary care had to do a referral for that visit. So referral came in, they called me and they were like, hey, we're no longer in your network. Um, what do you want to do? You'd have to pay out of pocket. And I was like, I'll pay out of pocket because I don't want to start this this game all over. And you know, the next year they were back in network. So frustrating. <laughs> Not their fault, my insurance's fault, but it was just so frustrating. So I tell you all that because when I started having the issues earlier this week, um, when I reached out to my primary care to tell her what was going on. She referred back to all kinds of notes in my system. So in the video that I posted on Tuesday, I told y'all, say, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm good. And that's because she truly has a full scope of what is going on in my world. So again, I'm very blessed to have that. I'm very thankful um, that she has access to that. Um, yeah, I'm just happy about that. Uh, she was also able to look at my recent blood panel, my complete blood panel, which was just taken um, the second week of August. That's the last time I had my blood work done. Um, so she was able to go back and compare that to everything else going on. So right away, no, I did not go and get a complete metabolic panel <laughs> because Every three months, I've been having it done, and I just had it done, I think it was like August 5th, August 6th, so fairly recent. Um, but I tell you that because, like I said, Wednesday, I was peeing, peeing, peeing. Life was good. Everything was looking nice. I had went from 220, 223.9 down to 217 pounds so everything was flushing except for my right leg so wednesday night i did find myself at the er because i could not get the fluid off of that leg and if you remember i do have blood clots um my blood clots developed when i got on a birth control um, i was only on the birth control for three weeks kid you not three weeks and started having issues. So, um, you know, I started wondering, is that some of the issue? Am I having, um, like, my veins are, you know, damaged? Or, you know, I was just trying to figure out what was going on. And so my PCP had said, yeah, go ahead and go to the, to the emergency room. And she told me which hospital to go to because, again, they're all linked. Um, and they were in my they were in my network. So um, I went there. I spent eight hours at the hospital um, on a Wednesday night, but it was fine because when I got there, I saw one of my old students who informed me that she's pregnant again, <laughs> baby number three. 
Um, and her first baby, who's four years old, he and I, we've seen each other many a times. So I was able to sit there and play with him and just bond while we waited in the waiting room. Um, he had a really bad cough, but he and I were playing. So he actually did cough. It was crazy. But while I was at the emergency room, they ran their own panel and I'm not going to show you all my business because I haven't marked anything out but the only concern that they saw other than me being anemic and I'm always anemic um, and I cannot do blood um, iron infusions because they basically almost kill me like literally they almost kill me everybody has decided not a good idea for me to do that just stay on the iron pills that I'm on um so um okay so everything was fine except for my iron being low and I had low potassium yes so low potassium so to combat that they did not give me another bag of um ivs they felt like my water level was fine um but they did give me a little vial of potassium to drink and they told me instead of drinking my big 40 ounce um go smaller just for the next couple of days allow my body to try to recalibrate itself so I am using my smaller one, which is a 32 ounce. Um, so I'm drinking my water, but I'm using my smaller container this time. What else? Um, eight hours in the, oh, while I was there, um, of course they did my blood. Hold on. Okay. Ooh, ooh. I'm showing you my stuff anyway. <laughs> um, so while I was there, they did um, a basic metabolic panel, a complete blood count. They checked my creatine levels, creatine levels. Um, I had a ultrasound on both my legs to check if something was going on with my blood clots, which they're not. Um, yeah, so basically I had anemia, which I always have. Uh, edema of the leg, my right leg, which is why I was there, and low potassium, which that's this H word that I can't pronounce. So everything is good. Thank you all for who worried and gave me their suggestions. Um, I don't know. I, I really do say <laughs> thank y'all. Um, I've never had so many people so concerned, and that is extremely heartfelt. Because, like I said before, I started this, oh my God, I can feel it. I started this channel and this journey because I felt like I was alone. You know, in all my other weight situations, it was just me going at it, me versus the weight, me versus trying to lose the fat. And yeah, people were supportive in, oh, have you lost weight? Are you losing weight? But that was really the gist of it. And so when I posted the video, um, I was really just trying to say, hey, y'all be careful with these electrolytes because Alonda's hard headed and I thought I could drink a half a can. And here I am, you know, up a, up a creek. <laughs> and just all the comments, all the concern, all the, um, the suggestions, they really, really, really meant a lot to me because I don't know. It, it was a way of truly knowing I was not alone. I was not alone. I had people. I have people in my corner, you know, going with me. Come on, girl. You got this. You got this. You got this. And that was just a true, true testament um, to you all. So I do thank y'all um, for being there with me and um, all the warm wishes. Truly true. Oh, my God. All the warm wishes. I'm on lunch break. I should not be crying. Uh, <laughs> but while I was at the, the ER, they checked everything. Everything's fine. They just want me to chill for the rest of the week on working out, try to let my, my levels go back. And um, 
she, the doctor I spoke with, um, also was a little concerned because I told her I had been having a whole bunch of cravings for like the last three weeks and that I moved up in Zetbound and actually she was on Zetbound. That's why I was kind of holding, trying, because she's on Zetbound. Um, she had gone on Manjaro. No, she was on. She was on Manjaro. Whatever it was, she, I can't remember, but she's on Zetbound now, but um, with the shortage, the, own, the the ER doctor herself, she was like, because of the shortage, I had to switch over to this. So now I'm on Zetbound. And I was like, oh. But she also suggested that, you know, with me being premenopausal, with me having all the hormone issues, um, because she was able to see the notes from my doctor when I called my doctor, tell her all about, you know, what was going on with me eating. And, you know, maybe I should go up to 10 because 7.5 is not doing it. <laughs> she also said, you know, that does sound like you were having um, some hormone balance issues, but they could not see any hormone balance issues in my ER blood work. So she was thinking that that was balancing itself out. Um, and I agree with her. I really do. Because on Saturday morning, it was like someone turned off a light switch. I had zero cravings. Like, zero. I told y'all I went to Costco. I was in Costco with zero impulse, zero cravings, zero everything. So it was kind of like a test, but it really wasn't because I wasn't thinking in my mind, go to Costco and see if you buy anything. I didn't. I was, it was a brand new Costco. I had never been to Costco. So I was like, let's go walk Costco. Um, but yeah, so TN has really just no cravings. So now I have all this random stuff I bought because of impulse that I no longer want. No longer want it. It's crazy. Um, but TN does give me energy. As you saw, I took my 10 milligram shot this morning. Also weighed myself. I'm at 214.9. So I've gained 0.9, which I don't know why my body loves 0.9. If you've been following me for a while, my body love a 0.9. <laughs> but um, I do feel like it's still water weight because I took a picture, but my ankle is pretty much good now, but do the comparison. This was ER and this was um, this morning. It is going down, so I do feel like I'm still retaining some water. I am retaining some water. Uh, my lunch is almost over. Um, but yeah, energy. You know, I found myself walking around this building like almost speed walking, like I'm in a marathon, just... <laughs> Um, so I do account that to being on the 10 point, um, 10 point or 10 milligrams of that bound food cravings are done. Um, tomorrow I am taking my twins on a college visit and old Alanda would normally be extremely worried about this. Like, oh my gosh, they're going to want me to walk around and I can't, and I'm gonna have to take a break, but, um, a month ago when we took my daughter up to Dallas and showed her around there, I had no problems. I had three hours of walking to campus. Um, other than having to stop and pee because I was walking around with my water, it was it was beautiful. Like, I have no worries about walking on this campus tomorrow. I don't feel like I'm gonna need to take a break. Um, I feel like, you know, being 50 pounds lighter has put me in a good position to to walk around and and be with my kids so thank you that bound <laughs> um so yeah again i am good i'm still dropping fluid and um yeah life is is pretty good over here i can't tell if 10 point i don't know why i keep saying point i guess because i'm so used to saying 7.5 but I don't know if 10 milligrams of Zetbound is going to bring a whole bunch of weight loss because you know, I kind of screwed myself over this past week. But I have hope for it. It's shut out the food noise. I don't hear nothing. It is quiet. It's like crickets, cricket, cricket. But yeah, so I hope everything is going well. I am doing well. The fluid is flowing. I'm staying away from the electrolytes. 
in all shapes, forms, and fashions. Um, I did sign up for a 5K. It's in January. Um, <laughs> I usually do it every year. Uh, last year, I did not do it. This, this past January, I did not do it. Year prior to that, I did do it, but I did it up in Dallas um, with a friend. And um, prior to that, I did it every year. So I am going back to walking, not running, walking my 5K in January. So I'm excited about that. That just means that I need to get back into training after this week. So yeah, I hope everyone's well. Again, thank y'all so much for all the concern and all the comments. Um, I am good. Kidneys are good. Blood clots are basically where they were. <laughs> they are not moving. They are like planted in um, and the the juices are flowing so everything's everything's working I just need this right leg to go down a little bit more so yeah got my little yeah so yeah I'm gonna stop saying yeah and end this video <laughs> I hope y'all have a glorious weekend I can't wait to see what 10.0 does for me this week but once I know I will definitely share it with y'all Y'all take care.